I recently watched a bunch of videos on installing the grill guard on a Honda Element 2006 and the videos I watched didn't seem like there was going to be much customization needed so I decided to go ahead and order it and install it myself and as I got into it I realized there was a lot more needed that wasn't pointed out on the videos that were available so I'm making this video to help those of you that are considering doing this also. So first off on the bottom, underneath, you get a bracket that sits on top of the a mounting bar that uh, is basically just a stabilizer bar that holds the, uh, attaches to the radiator. And you have to get in there and pry, loosen the radiator up a little bit, and then you gotta pry a screwdriver in there, hold the radiator up high enough off that bar so you can slide the bracket down in it. Before you even get to that point, you gotta take all the molding off or it'll just be getting in your way and fighting you. And once you do get that bracket in place, then it's hard to slide it around and get it in the right spot to line up with the holes. And on mine, in my case, the holes didn't even line up. So I had to, I had to uh, widen out my holes in the uh, thin little uh, bracket uh, radiator bar that it mounts to. And once I did all that, uh, I got that in there. I ended up still having to kind of cut some grooves in the mounting bracket or, or the mounting, uh, the frame bar. Uh, just because I, I was getting so frustrated trying to get the bracket to line up with the holes. So that took a long time to finally get that all situated. And then uh, to get the brackets in there, you have to cut slots in your rubber molding. And uh, you'll need to get order some, uh, some new tabs because some of the tabs will be damaged when you're pulling them out. They're, you know, they might be old and weathered and cracked. And uh, so you'll need some more, some more of those uh, tabs that hold all the plastic casing back in, in the right spots. And so once you do get the actual brackets on there and you get going, you know, you find that it's, you know, it's really not real stable. It's, it's not uh, an installation that you would really want to consider putting, uh, you know, if you're thinking about getting a winch accessory or other accessories on the front, you might not want to do that. Um, it's just there's just not mu enough steel that you're mounting these grill guards to on, on these elements so and then I'm not sure I'll, I'll put in the uh, comments below the source that I bought this kit from you know I, I don't think some of my hardware is stainless and a lot of the uh, the nuts the threading was stripped and didn't go on the bolts well so i've got them half on there and then now now i have to grind some of them off if i want to replace them that's just going to take more time more energy than i really want to go to you know so I'll, I'll put the camera on that real quick just to show you an example you know in here they cross threaded when they're going on and uh i have two of them here that didn't get tightened down enough but it it's stable and it's there's enough tension on it that they're in place you know, and uh, they're definitely not going to vibrate off, even though, you know, I've got seize all and lock nut washers on them. But it's, it's just frustrating that I couldn't get it tightened properly because the hardware was uh, cross-threaded, not drilled out right, and tapped and whatever. So, uh, so you get all that on, you, uh, you know, you want to consider an extra lock nut washer on both sides. Just really make sure you got those on there good. Don't ever have to worry about them vib vibrating off. And uh, then you may want to just go ahead and rubber coat them. I'll rubber coat these next after I'm done with this video. I just wanted to do it first, do the video first so you could see a clear shot of what you're dealing with. And then you get to the top once you've got this all on. And, uh, you know, it still moves around a little bit, but... When you get these brackets, in my case, uh, the brackets, everything just didn't line up. So I had to customize it. I had to bend the piss out of this one and uh, basically 
flip it. They had it bent so it went down. And uh, it's just not, it doesn't go real clean. And it doesn't line up underneath your fender here like it's supposed to. So it's in the way of, of the hood closing uh, securely the way you'd like it to. It's just not, not real clean. And you'll have to move this out of the way, your uh, fluid container. It's complicated getting a wrench down in that tight little space back behind here. That'll frustrate you and cost you time. And again, you know, the angle's not right on the hardware you get and you get frustrated and, you know, and there's definitely enough tension on there uh, that it holds it, but it's such a tiny, you know, that's, that's just ridiculous. You hit anything at all, it's just going to pop the head right off that. Uh, that's not going to hold shit. So, you know, it is what it is. But I, I'm, they definitely should have used a, a thicker bolt uh, and a, a different way to attach these. So on this side, I went ahead and I just didn't want to spend more time fighting the bracket. It pissed me off too much. So I went ahead and mounted this one uh, the way they sell it. And so you can see how much higher it gets raised up from the pressure from down below. Uh, you know, it's you may get lucky and may have enough of a bend in your bottom framing and bracing that it lines up a little bit better. But you know, and again, uh, there's an air intake here that you got to move out of the way to get your wrench underneath there. So, but there you go. Those are the key points that I just want to make everybody else aware of before you, uh, you know, if you're considering doing the same project on uh, putting a grill guard on your Honda Element uh, mid-2000 models. All right. Thanks.